Hi everyone, my name is Tom Krubery. I'm here at Prime Mercedes-Benz in Airstream up in Scarborough, Maine. We have here beside me a 2021 Airstream Atlas um, that is available for sale. I want to put a quick video tour together for this unit. Um, we're going to walk around the exterior of the vehicle and then go check out the interior and the living quarters. So starting right up front here, or this is actually on the side. Um, I'm going to cover all this storage, but first, uh, we do have this really cool seismic sensing awning uh, we have out. This uh, will uh, retract itself in if it senses too much air or uh, if you uh, drive away with it open or anything like that. If it senses it's bouncing at all, it'll pull itself in um, so you don't have to worry about uh, driving away with it open. The other really cool feature about this, there's no legs or no uh, supports to have to set up. It just kind of extends and then sticks out by itself. Um, also extremely long, you have three support arms coming out. Um, goes the full length or almost the full length of the unit. Really nice uh, exterior lights. So uh, if you were outside at night, you can use, uh, use it and have a little bit of outdoor space. You have lights on the side lights under the handle and you've got some LEDs underneath the awning itself. So then we're going to come around. So before we go inside, I will just touch on, we do have these automatic folding steps. So as soon as you open that door, the steps come out. Um, you do have a switch on the inside of the door that actually leave, like it's a step hold button. It uh, makes sure that even when you shut that door, the steps stay out. So if you're in and out, you don't have to wait for the steps to come down. Um, important to set that. But you also have a travel warning inside, so if you forget to turn that off, the, uh, the van will beep at you, letting you know not to drive away without those in. And coming back, we do have uh, some storage here. Uh, this is on the passenger side of the vehicle. We have some undercarriage storage, uh, two little compartments there. We do have some access to the outside, to the floor of the, um, of the little storage bin some lights in there as well as uh, plugs and coax cable connections. And as we come back this way, you will see the uh, side exhaust for the uh, van itself. This, uh, this panel right here, we don't have open. It is kind of a service access port for the generator. So you do have an onboard diesel generator. So if you ever need to get at that, um, this one, there's just a little clip underneath that's how it opens. Um, everything else uh, all have latches that are controlled with the fob. When it's unlocked, when the unit is unlocked, all of these are unlocked. So if you want to uh, lock everything, you just lock your doors, everything is secure. So as we come back, we have one more little uh, storage bin underneath the carriage here. And then Above that, we actually have another really cool storage bin with a light. And if you look in here and up, you can actually see this is actually part of uh, one of the closets on the interior, which I'll show you. So if you have some taller things, you can actually even have access in through um, into the storage inside. So golf clubs, those types of things you can potentially put in there. So as we come around, uh, this is an important point to uh, touch on that Airstream has essentially hand built everything from the cab back. This starts life as a sprinter. Um, it is a cab chassis based sprinter. And so everything on the, uh, on the, um, the rear of the vehicle has been hand built by Craftsman out in Ohio. So really cool things to point out is on the corners here, you'll see this is a full seamless design. Everything has been, um, fiberglass in so it takes about 300 hours of fiberglass and paintwork to uh, create the body of this uh, vehicle it takes about 700 total so three 350 plus hours to actually build it and another 300 350 plus hours to fiberglass and paint um, now as we come around you will see there are some access to um, some important bits here the first one, first compartment there, that is for our uh, water tanks and black, gray, and fresh water um, dump stations. Next to that, 
There is a uh, outdoor shower as well as a city hookup. You have access to the floor of that cubby hole, so you can go through there and leave this shut if you would like. Um, as well as below it, that yellow cap there is um, how to fill up the onboard propane. So you have a diesel generator, but you also have propane to run your stove and uh, hot water. Um, the other cool thing I did mean to mention about the um, uh, the water, the tank dump station, is that that um, hose is actually on an electronic reel. So you just pull it out, uh, do your business by like hitting those valves and everything. Everything dumps out. When you're done, you can actually hit a button and it retracts itself in. So no need to um, roll it up yourself or anything like that. This third station over here is actually access to your shore power. So if you're at a campground or somewhere at your house with shore power, you can go in right through the bottom there with the uh, power cord, plug in right there through that one. As we're coming around, you'll see the exhaust for the um, generator. So this generator, uh, you do need to run your generator or shore power to run your air conditioner. So if you're going down the road, you want, you have passengers in the back. Um, and you want the air conditioner running, uh, you would need to run your air conditioner, you can do that. Or your generator, I mean, and you can do that going down the road. Other really cool features is uh, Airstream upgrades the wheels to Alcoa wheels, so top of the line wheels for um, a unit like this. Then two more undercarriage storage um, bins. Really cool feature on this is that they actually slide out with the slide. So they attached it to the bottom of the slide so there's no need to climb under it to get to your storage when the slide is out. So um, they do pass through one another so you can put longer things in there if you want. These are one big container there um, with some more cords and whatnot in there currently. So then the outside again, so like I said, everything from essentially this cab back was all built by uh, Craftsman out in Ohio, Jackson Center. But one thing I'd like to point out, you do have a diesel cap right here, your fuel filler. So this door, when that's shut, and this door shuts, everything is locked up with the, uh, the unit itself. So now we can come inside the vehicle. Um, there you see the automatic steps going down as you open it and I will turn on right here the step hold feature so that those door the those steps stay out even if we shut the door so welcome to the uh, Atlas where we are going to cover all of the um, or we aren't gonna go too in-depth I do have another video that will really cover this which we can link in the description below but um, this is the brain of the whole unit so we're gonna go over all the storage compartments and some of the controls here and uh, go from there. So starting right up front here, I will just start and work my way around. Um, this is a essentially a control panel for all of your different systems on board um, from your equalizer system to your inverter, power system, generator, everything, tanks. So, um, all of that stuff can still be accessed from the screens behind this door here too, but um, that just gives you kind of a, a backup there. Um, let's open this up. So once the batteries are turned on, um, you can then see these will open up and you just tap this and everything turns itself on. So this is the home menu. You do have a quick access to a lot of different features like turning all your lights on and off. Uh, extending the awnings, climate control, gives you a quick look at your batteries, um, as well generator and tanks. Each one of these on the side here is a separate menu um, to control separate systems. So like I said, there is another video where I go into each one of those things. It's uh, a little bit more in depth, which we will link below um, on another 21 Atlas. So. With that, I will uh, continue to come around. So we do have another storage container up here above the uh, cab of the vehicle. We do have access to HDMI cable, uh, coax cables. Uh, so if you have things you wanna hook up right here, 
you can run through the TV. All that stuff hooks up right here. This is a key that will control the Wi-Fi. So this car, or this unit, can be uh, enabled, have Wi-Fi enabled um, through either Airstream on the rear, or you also have access to Wi-Fi through the Mercedes side as well. Uh, the Mercedes side will only be on if the vehicle is on, so the Airstream side has um, Wi-Fi that you don't have to run your car to actually have Wi-Fi. So that's what that key does, turns off um, the Wi-Fi router, essentially. Then we have another storage container here. We do have a bunch of speakers throughout. You'll see um, these vents here are for your uh, air conditioner system, uh, which you can spin them around, angle them, turn them on and off uh, right through these. Uh, really cool system as you turn it on. It's really quiet. We can do that here. Um, like I said, we're not plugged in, so you do need to have your generator running. So just to hear your generator, um, it is not that loud at all. Fires up just like that. And then to turn on your climate control, we go here to climate control. I have it on auto and I have it set to 65. So our AC is coming on right now. Or we can just turn it on to cool and high. And everything will start to kick on, cool it off. But as you can hear, I don't know if it's picking up all that well, but it's not super loud. Uh, you can easily sleep with that on if need be, if you're in a place that allows generators running. Um, and then, I don't know if you can hear it, but the AC just kicked on. Everything's blowing now. Um, and then to turn that off, all we have to do is go back to the generator section, hit off, and it'll shut it off really quickly, um, which I will do now. Just like that, turns itself off. Like I said, the AC needs the generator to be running, so the AC will kick off right when you do that as well. And we just go back. Um, so these are the vents for the AC, like I was saying. Uh, in the center here, we do have uh, a nice skylight. Um, you do have actual blackout shade for it, so if you're sleeping, you can shut it so you don't have always sun coming through, or if you have that open, you also have bug, bug screen as well. So then, which brings us now to our bed. Um, so this is the couch, and then the Murphy bed is right behind it. Um, this couch is a recliner, so you have controls on either side. Um, you might be able to see your foot controls, so the actual recliner controls on that side, as well as some USB charging over there. Um, on this side, it's a little bit harder to see. Everything's kind of um, close together over here, but you take these off, and um, there is some controls over here. So I'll show you. This all lays down just like this, and we can pull the bed down right on top of it, which I'll show you how that works. We get these throw pillows out of the way. Get this one other armrest out of the way. And there is a lock so it doesn't move around while you're driving. Just pull that lock and then down comes the bed. That uh, panel at the top there folds down so your pillows don't fall down and you have a full size, I believe, king bed with a Frawley inner spring mattress system underneath. So it is a thinner mattress but you do have a spring system underneath. Um, behind the bed, as you can see, you have more windows with blinds, so you can open those windows, shut your blinds, so you have airflow, but uh, also having privacy. Storage on either side, behind the bed, as well as more USB um, charging on either side, and some reading lights. So, to put this away, just a simple, pull the latch, continue to pull the latch, there, let it fold up, and then you just hit... button and everything folds back together and you put the couch back together so then right behind that is your galley so you do have a uh, full size it's not a full size sink but a pretty deep sink this uh, Corian countertop piece comes off so it gives you more countertop to actually work with um, when you're cooking or whatnot, but if you do need full-size pots or whatever, you can fit them in here. You also have extendable 
um, faucet. And this all drops in. You do have trash right in the uh, built into the countertop as well. And then you have your two burner Dometic cooktop. More windows for ventilation. So above us, above the kitchen, we do have a vent fan. Um, so if you do need to pull cooking, uh, while well, you're cooking, pull steam out or whatnot, you can move a window over there to create a cross breeze as well as we have a screen door for the uh, big door back there as well. Um, there's a ton of storage underneath here. So you've got like sponge storage. You actually have decent sized drawers and a huge cabinet down there. And then on this side, we actually have extension for more counter space if you need it while you're cooking. And then more storage. All these locks are very similar to locks that you'd find on um, boats. Um, you just push in on them and they uh, pop in or pop out just like that lock that one's a huge one down there as well so that's the kitchen um, we then have a microwave convection oven um, pretty good size there so you can actually uh, bake with convection we do have our fridge and freezer so the tops fridge bottoms freezer and let you guys come around we have a decent sized fridge here it's actually already cold so this will run on just electric, you don't have to have generator going, doesn't use your propane, just runs off electric. And then we have these travel locks there, but freezer down there, so you can actually make ice and whatnot. Um, two more storage bins above your entertainment sit center. Um, good size storage here. And then this is where your TV comes out of. And then we have more storage for your remotes and a uh, system to run all your HDMI inputs and whatnot. I'll open up this uh, entertainment system here so you can see what the TV looks like. So more Corian countertops here. As you see, this comes out of the, uh, the cabinetry. We do have a Bose sound bar and a Samsung TV, I do believe, below that. Yes. So very nice entertainment system here. You can get um, either satellite TV. Um, you can use coax hookups at campgrounds to get cable if your campground allows it or offers it um, or you can use streaming services through Wi-Fi or any type of uh, streaming device that uh, will, is compatible so really cool little setup here for entertainment so that's the main living quarters after this we're gonna go back into the bathroom and I'll show you the full bath back there it's a dry bath really cool uh, feature of this unit all right, so as we walk into the bathroom here, we'll see the first huge cabinet door there is um, a cedar-lined cabinet for um, storage for your clothes. It's all clothes hanging storage as well as there are spots for shelves in there that are adjustable, so um, really, really nice. Next to it is another cedar-lined cabinet um, where there's some more throw pillows, shelves, and this shelf right here is how we could got into that door, uh, that cabinet outside for the uh, taller storage. You can stick things down through that um, right there. One thing I had not mentioned throughout, but all these little screens here are actual screens that are just smaller versions of that big one up front. So it's like the you have access to all the lights, all the different systems right through there, your climate control, all that stuff. And we have the um, mirror, yeah, the medicine cabinet. So we have a nice little storage for our toiletries or whatnot. And then uh, sink, you have your uh, plugins for hair dryer or um, other toiletry items. And then some under sink storage down there. 
really cool over here to the left two things we did not touch on are some drawer storage which uh, ha are currently holding some sheets um, and then below that is another drawer and as we go to the right of the um, sink we do have the full stand-up shower um, with Kohler appliances it does lock together as you see you just do that and then open her up and the doors slide open then right above the restroom there is more storage for um, again more toiletries uh, bathroom tissue and whatnot and above that there is a sink or another uh, fan i should say um, controlled same way we use the one out front here and the restroom below another cool thing with this there is a uh, little lock right there and a pocket door for privacy that is magnetic so you can still have some nice privacy while showering or doing whatever you need to do um, so that is like a quick overview of the 21 Airstream Atlas. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, my name again is Tom Kubri, and you can reach me at 207-510-2286. Thanks.